Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the DD bags or douche bags, Solomos, uh, formerly the Element. I'm totally saying Solomos or Solomos. Completely wrong. But uh, anyway, to get this out of the way right up top, I am not affiliated with DB Bags in any way, shape, or form. They did reach out to me a while back and asked me if I wanted to take a look at some of their bags, so I did say yes. I picked out two packs, the Solmos being one of them and the Element being the other. Um, I did pick this one out because um, I had a work trip coming up that I was going to use this for. I thought this would be a perfect bag for that um, trip did not happen. So I actually never used this bag. I did use the Explorer, really liked it, quality was great of the pack. Um, so we're gonna talk about this a little bit, um, although I did not get a full review in this because I didn't actually use it. But um, just having the bag, I'm able to handle it and uh, kind of give it a once over. And I could tell that the quality of this is great. So um, a couple things I will like to say right off the bat, it does easily fit. A 15 inch MacBook Pro, no problems. It goes in and out. You do have to do a little bit of a tuck, but that's kind of commonplace for a lot of these rear access bags where you have to kind of tuck underneath the, the seam or the zipper to get it in there, but that is fine. I didn't use it on this bag, obviously, but um, it's the same exact sternum strap on the Explorer. These like faux fid locks where you have to kind of pop it up and slide out. It does work just fine. They do take a little bit to get used to because they do operate slightly different from the regular fid locks where you have to kind of push up and slide them out. Um, but they do work just fine. Uh, one thing I would like to mention, this was brought to my attention by a uh, comment on the unboxing video, these G hooks right here. I had originally said they're pointless, they get in the way, and they actually prevent the strap from bending and contouring to the body because if you unhook it, you get a lot more bend to the strap and when it's there it does create the bag to be stiffer but they do have a function and it is so you can actually link or connect multiple douche bags or db bags together and kind of daisy chain your packs together so yeah they do actually have a purpose so they're not just for show um so that's good it's good to know that they're there for an actual reason although it's a reason i probably personally would not use but they do actually serve a purpose uh they're not just there for show which i thought was just kind of stupid to have them there um because again they, they did in my initial thoughts kind of inhibit the way the strap is going to lay across the shoulder and I thought it would stick, kind of stick out and make it square and not as comfortable. But um, I mean, you could simply just not hook them and have it, they'll be a little dangly, but if it was uncomfortable, you could just unhook them. But ultimately they do have a purpose. Um, the one thing I would like to see changed is the Haplon daisy chaining up front. There's no give in this, especially these ones that have the G hooks to strap on. I'm gonna wonder or guess that these might be part of that daisy chaining system. That's why there's not a lot of give because if you're gonna daisy chain these together, you don't want them to have stretch. But if you were going to lash anything to the front of the bag, you really can't because you don't have that option because there's not any give in this daisy chain. So to make these more useful, I'd like to see them maybe have some sort of adjustment on it so you could actually strap something to the front of this bag if you wish. And that was probably my biggest negative of the bag was this front Haplon chain, daisy chaining system. Um, but other than that, I think the quality is great. It is just a big hole, as you can see, but the liner is white, so that does make finding things in there a lot easier. There is a little bit of organization on the inside. Um, there are two pockets, one of which is the one that you can access. <laughs> Probably can't see that at all and I have no monitor so I can't tell. You can kind of access through the side. Um, it's a vertical zipper on the inside that goes with the vertical zipper access for the, the back. So you can unzip, stick your hand in, unzip, get what you need. Zip. Zip. It's not as easily accessible from the top. You can get to it, but you kind of have to do this. You're digging down, unzipping, and then hooking your hand in as opposed to coming straight in from the side. So that is designed specifically to access from this rear entrance point. Um, I mean, you can see I don't think I ever actually rolled up and connected the bag. It does have these fake Cobra clips, which work seem to work pretty well anyway. 
but it never actually rolled the bag down, put anything in it, and clipped it together. So I honestly can't say longevity wise if these off-brand uh, Cobra clips would work. They seem robust, they seem pretty durable, and they make a good solid connection, um, but longevity, I'm not really sure. Overall though, if it's anything like the Explore Pack that I use, the quality is gonna be great. It's gonna be a reliable bag and you could fit a lot of stuff in here. So this would be great. It is 32 liters of a waterproof nylon ripstop fabric. They don't actually tell you what that waterproof nylon is, but it feels pretty good to the touch. Um, I feel like it's gonna be durable enough, especially for a travel bag to stuff all your things into. This is gonna be the pack that you kind of cram everything into then when you get to where you're going you take your packable day pack out and that's what you're going to use to run around the city run around the mountains and this is your to and from bag this is your suitcase to get where you're going or your weekend bag to throw all your clothes into and then when you get where you're going again you pull out the the packable day pack that's inside of this and that's what you're going to use to uh, do all of your excursions but all in all i feel like this pack is going to be um a pretty good purchase i mean it is a little pricey it's like 279 dollars usd uh, brand new. I feel like that might be a little high, maybe more like the 225 250 price range. Just knock a couple bucks off it. Um, I know DB or Douchebags does have a name behind the brand, but as far as the carry community goes, it's uh, it's not that well known of a brand. So I feel like the price point might be a little bit high. But as far as quality goes, I think it's pretty much there. Again, just drop that price point a little bit, and uh, you're you're right where you should be. So uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. If you like this video or any other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night.